guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use our Film Roll plugins. So let's open up Premiere and get started. First, if you're wondering how to actually install our plugins to begin with, you're going to want to check out this video here, and a link to that is in the description below. But once you've got our plugins installed, you should be able to find them by going down to your Effects panel here and searching under the Video Transition section. You should see a folder labeled Motion Array Film Roll. Drop it down and you should see four different film roll transitions. Basic roll, bounce roll, push roll, and zoom roll. We have five clips on our timeline here, so I'm just going to quickly place each of these four transitions in between them. Once you do, you might notice that there's a red X over top of your footage during the transition. If that's the case, you'll need to highlight this effect and then go into your effects controls and click this button here to sign into your active paid motion array account. Okay. So now we can get to work playing around with these transitions. But you can see that immediately off the bat, these effects look awesome, high quality, and professional. But you can do some work to edit them and make them really your own. To start with, by increasing or decreasing the duration of your transition, you can make the transition happen either faster or slower. Next, let's use our basic curl transition here as an example to go over all of the different parameters. Here you can choose the direction that the effect takes place over. By default it's set to left to right, but you can choose from right to left, top to bottom, and bottom to top as well. Next you have the cycle amount. This will dictate the number of times the footage passes by in succession. So if we set it to 1, it looks like this. And if we set it to a really high number like 20, it looks like this. The blur amount will dictate how blurry the transition appears as it moves along. So if we set it to 0, we can see that it's crisp and sharp the whole way through. And the more blurry we make it, the more blurry it will appear during the transition. And finally we have our overlay parameter. Drop it down here and we can see that we have a color value and an opacity value. Here you can manually choose the color that you want the footage to be moved towards by way of an overlay blend mode. So the orange color here is selected and is coming through during the transition. But we can make it any color like blue green, or even white, really any color that you might personally want for your effect. Then the opacity here controls how much the color is overlaid into your clip. An opacity of 100 will make it as full as possible, while an opacity of 0 will make it so that no color change happens at all. And that's the first basic roll effect. The other three transitions have similar functionality with these same parameters. You can see for example that the bounce roll is a different effect, but it uses the same parameters, so you know how to edit it based on the previous one. The last two, push roll and zoom roll transitions, have one added parameter called scale. For the push roll transition, this parameter is between 80 and 100, and dictates how small your footage will become when it's pulled back as a part of the changing film roll type look. Bringing it down to 80 makes it look like it's being pulled far back from the viewer as if the film roll was being manually moved and changed. But if we bring it all the way up to 100, we can see that the effect is a simple roll instead with no pushback whatsoever. And finally, the zoom roll has the scaling parameter act in a similar way but instead between 100 and 500. And instead of pushing back, it zooms in in the opposite direction. Using this parameter tells the effect how much you want to zoom in as a part of the transition. Making the value 100 will create a simple roll with no zoom, while a higher amount will produce a more noticeable zoom as it rolls through. And guys, that's just been a basic overview of our Film Roll Transition plugins. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you might like some of our others. We've got tons of video editing tutorials for Premiere Pro and After Effects right here at MotionArray.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.